Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power. And hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. Nobody gets to the Father except through me. That used to bring me a lot of comfort because I knew, because of the gift of faith, because God pulled me out of the pits of hell, that I knew that the Catholic Church was Jesus' church and that Jesus and his sacramental graces in his church that he gave us was going to save me. But now, it doesn't bring me as much comfort as it used to because I'm not thinking about me anymore. I'm thinking about my spouse and my family and my friends, the people that I used to work with, the people that I live by, the people that I come in contact with, who I know are hurting, who I know need God's healing, who I know their soul needs saving. So what do you do? You work on you. The better you do, the better they will do. There is a lot of truth in living your faith. Not just knowing it, not just speaking about it, but actually responding to that gift of that faith, that beautiful gift that we all are working on to grow deeper in our knowledge of God, to grow deeper in our relationship with God and his church. I say this a lot, but I wanted to make it a specific topic, especially as we look at improving ourselves. Whether you're in the membership group or not, which by the way, at the end, I'm going to tell you how to do it. I want to thank Christopher and Brian and everyone for being so patient. But if you want to stick around to know how to join the membership group, stick around to the end. But regardless of that group or not, you're listening to this podcast because you want to become a holier, healthier, happier person soul, mind, and body. So be aware that the changes that you make and the fact that you make them public and you have an accountability partner and you pray and you publicly apologize to God when you slip up has an impact on people around you, whether they're your spouse, your children, other relatives, neighbors, co-workers, it happens. People cannot help but notice when you are getting better, when you are happier, when you are healthier, when you are holier. Because all three of those things are just like the soul, the mind, the body. When they all work together, you are a walking billboard for God. You are being the evangelist and the disciple he's asked you to be. And then when people ask you, how did you lose that weight? Or you look so happy. How can you be so happy in this situation that you're in right now? Or, wow, you're so peaceful in the crisis situation that is facing you. How do you find that peace? Because I'm telling you, people will notice 
How do I know this? Because my entire life has been a witness. And, sorry, that was pretty loud. And a non-witness. So I have been on both sides where my life has reflected my Christianity and my non-Christianity, even while I was on the journey. Let me explain. My husband could tell immediately when God was showering his grace on me when I was working on my patience and when I was working on my swearing and all of these things. But the swearing was actually a result of my best friend calling me out on my language and what I, the stories I was telling and the things I was saying, which were totally raunchy. You all know I had a language problem. Maybe you're a new person and you don't, but I used to use the F word every other word. I didn't care who was listening, who I insulted. I thought that people who didn't swear were prudes. I thought swearing made me cool. And then my girlfriend said to me, you profess to be this Christian and listen to you. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I was at her lake house. We had a two hour drive home and I was quiet the whole way, letting those words based over me. (laughs) It was like God kept that turkey baster in that comment and just squeezed the little turkey baster thing. I don't know what they call it, a baster, just kept squeezing those words over me. And it just bothered me. It was, my husband knew what was going on and he asked me, what's the matter? You know, you've been quiet this whole time. I said, gosh, what Molly said to me really struck a chord. And he's like, look, honey, You've been like that for 42 years, you know, like give God some time to change you. And that was really cool. Again, I think that was God speaking through my husband, telling me to have patience and look at me now. If I let an an S word slip, or if I say hell instead of heck or something like that, I'm like, I'm freaking out about it. But that so wasn't me. But then people noticed This is what I'm trying to say. As you are going through these changes to help yourself be a better person on this earth, excuse me, I'm still, you guys all have to know right now, (laughs) all right, I'm just going to share. I have been trying to get this glob of snot out of my nose, in between my nose and my throat for like 10, 15 minutes. And I just said, ah, I can't get it out of there. So it is driving me crazy. It almost feels like I'm going to have a big glob of a chunky lung cookie, you know, but coming from my head, drop into my throat any minute. So it's freaking me out this whole podcast, (laughs) just so you know. Okay. But back to the topic at hand, remember that these changes that you're making, and if you've made it public, or if they know people around you in your family, for example, know that you're working on things, this is not only going to help you continue to have that determination and that motivation and that inspiration, but it is going to be enlightening for those around you to see. And if you fall, it's also a very good thing for you and for others to see how do you get back up? Are you going to be one of those people in your people's lives that God put in your path that just gives up because they ran into a problem? Oh, I screwed up. I fell down. I'm not going to do it anymore. It reminds me of Lent when I used to pretend to participate in Lent when I wasn't a practicing Catholic and didn't even know what Lent was about. And the minute I would eat a piece of chocolate or eat a piece of candy up, well, looks like I got to wait till next Lent. That isn't life. And we are walking, talking, breathing teachers of life and how we should be living life differently here on earth. So let's try to remember that, that our actions and our changes and our transformations impact those around us, whether we realize it or not. And that's why I'm trying to help us realize it. Because as we continue down this path and keep down this path, 
we can think about those in our lives and maybe, just maybe, the big change that our family hasn't seen happen for decades and decades and decades happens. And they look at you and they say, how did that happen? And you say, because I had God. And then when you hear that word, that word, (laughs) that verse in the Bible, nobody gets to the Father except through me. Maybe these are the seeds that God is going to water. And maybe you won't see it and you'll be long gone off this earth. But know that the things that you do and the way that you walk with God and make it public and apologize to God and apologize to those around you when you fall and go back to him for his love and his support, they will see it. And then they will also see that in the end, you and God have conquered this thing that they have not seen you conquer by yourself ever. And that's the moment where you have lived the life that God wants you to live. And you have evangelized and been a disciple just by living the best life you could with God, following his commands. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. Today, Lord, we ask one thing that you ingrain in our hearts, in our souls, in our minds, in every fiber and cell of our bodies, that what we do on this earth matters. It doesn't just matter to us, but it matters to those around us. How we live is our evangelization. So help us remember that we're not just doing these things for us. We are doing these things for everyone around us to try and help bring them to you, Lord, so that during their judgment day, they too can go to the Father because they came through you. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. (sighs) And remember, give your family to Mary and Jesus. Give them to the Holy Family. Give them to Jesus, Mary, Joseph. In the book, the Deliverance Prayer Book. We haven't talked deliverance in a long time. I hope you are bringing up your deliverance prayers when you are being tempted. Remember, the world, the flesh, and the devil are the three things that are going to be coming after you during your walk. So we have to pay attention and we have to pull out those weapons which are the deliverance prayers. And inside the deliverance book, it's deliverance prayers for the laity. It's published by Census Traditionis Press. And it's Father Ripperger. You could just search that stuff out there. I don't even know. It's not on Amazon. You got to go find it like on his site somewhere. Anyway, in there are prayers for your family for protection And we should always pray for our spouses and our children if we are in the state of marriage. Okay? They need it out there. Even if they're not in your own home. Okay? Alrighty. The last thing. If you want to join the membership club, which I got to tell you, it's been awesome. I have been loving it. And I have been coming and taking some of the feedback from the members, and it's been sitting in my mind. So it's great. It's not like it's just me helping the members. The members are also helping me. This is also why I am doing this. I've told you that I get accountability from you, and that's the coolest thing ever. And we're also walking and supporting each other. None of us started out really great, I don't think. I mean, at least from the ones that are sharing 
I don't think we all started as great as we thought, but that's the whole point. We don't give up. We keep going and we learn and we look back and we say, what, what happened today? <laughs> what, what did I do? What didn't I do? Was I paying attention? Was I just falling back into my old ways? This kind of stuff. Was I really kind of thinking or was I just going through the motions? All right. Here's the deal with the membership group. So first of all, it's on YouTube. Now, if you just watch videos on YouTube, then you may not have a YouTube account. I have an account, obviously. I have a channel. I put videos out there. But others just go watch and they don't have an account. Well, that's the first thing you need to set up. So you go to youtube.com and in the upper right-hand corner, there's something called create an account. And that's what you need to do first. You put in your email, and I don't think you need a Gmail account, but if you've got a Gmail account, it automatically connects those two together. So there's not a lot that you have to do, but you just put in your email account. I think your phone number, just to make sure that you're a real person. And the reason you would set up a YouTube account is for these reasons. Number one, you want to comment on videos. If you don't have an account, you can't comment. You may know that if you don't have an account <laughs> because you can't comment. It asks you probably to quote unquote sign in before you make a comment. So number two would be you also can't rate videos. Hit click in the likes, click in the, the, the hearts, I don't think. I don't know if that's part of the rating. I don't know how else you rate something. And number three is you can't join memberships. And you can't subscribe. So many of you may be like, oh, you keep telling me to subscribe. I can't subscribe. Well, you have to have an ID in order to subscribe because you need an account so that YouTube can save all of those channels that you watch frequently. And those videos you can save to watch later. You can, you know, you don't have to watch them all then. You could create all these different folders and put all your stuff in there. It's really quite nice. But you don't have to be a video creator. You just have to have an account. So don't freak out. I don't want to create videos. I don't want to be out there where people go to my page. You don't have to have any of that. You just need to set up the account. And then from there, you go to my channel, Kendra Von Esch, and you should see a join button. Boom, you click join. I only have one level. Other membership pages have five, sometimes six different levels at different pricing. I got one level, people. I'm keeping it simple because I'm stupid. <laughs> so it's $4.99 for a month. You put in your credit card, boom, you save it, and then you are in. You can make comments, tell us where you're from, why you're here, and then just join and look at all the other people that are out there and start feeling at home. And know that this is the place that you can go every morning and get some encouragement. Know that over the next, I don't know, 21 days, when do we start? Monday, 21, 20, 19, 18. So for the next 17 days, you'll have videos from me every single day. Some will be for the other people too. But, but I am going to just have member-only videos during this process. And that's kind of how it works. So... The problem is, is I don't think iPhone actually works on the phone. So Christopher, thank you again for helping out, but he had an iPhone. He has an account. He could not join through his phone, but he went to a computer and was able to do it there. So that is your second workaround. Number one, get yourself an account, go to my page. Should have a join button, click it and follow the process. If not, do it on your computer. <laughs> Set up the account, go to my page on the computer, and hopefully the join button will be there. And I don't know if anyone's had any issues with Android. Okay, sorry for the long thing, but that's why I put the instructions at the back because I'm sure there are some who are already in and don't need to hear this and others who have been beating their head against the wall because there hasn't been many 
who have been able to go in there successfully. And I'm sorry, that, that just doesn't seem to make any sense to me. It should be so simple. I can see it on all my other, on my subscriptions. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I hope to have you there. Oh, and I forgot to ask my husband. For those of you who are in the membership group, I'm going to, I'm going to do a live tomorrow, Saturday. Sometime between, I don't know, probably 11 and 4. <laughs> That's a big window. 11 and 4 central time. So that Chicago, Illinois time. You know, the murder capital of the world time. And I will let you know for sure in the community tab. I will also put a quick video out there to let everyone know to join so what is that live going to be about? It's just going to be checking in, seeing how everything's going, getting more feedback from the members on what they want videos for. And yesterday I put a video out there for the sweet tooths, a couple of keto hacks to give you that sweet flavor that you might be craving during this time or for anyone who's just trying to get rid of sweets and wanting to kind of you may not be keto. As a matter of fact, Cherie is not keto. She just wants to get back to, um, oh, what is that where you don't have the bread? No sugar and gluten-free. There you go. So she says that some of the keto videos have actually helped and reminds her of the things that she can eat that she forgot about. So we're all out there helping each other. All righty. Get on out there. Be love. Have faith. Give it to the Holy Family and know, 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 know that God's got this, but that your life matters. And when you do better, they do better. All right, everyone, find something more with God, soul, mind, and body, and have a blessed and inspired day.